everybody this is Latoya and I'm back with another video um, let me let you all know something during this pandemic this has been one of the um, most amazing times of my family's life and what I mean by that and I apologize for anybody else that has been going through um, as far as the sicknesses and the loss of wages my heart goes out to you all this is by no means to um, say that this is not something that is a huge crisis that's going on. But for the people who can maximize, and that, I want to help everybody to be able to maximize your time while being at home or staying closer to home. Uh, life is changing as we all know it. We've come into the age of Zoom meetings, more uh, virtual whatever conferences, uh, teleconferences, and things of that sort. But for people like myself, I've always had a non-traditional life working from home or being on the road. And so I just wanted to let you all know to be encouraged, but also to know that this is a time where you're going to be able to put all of your different tools and just your mind together to go in a different direction that you've always dreamed of, but you never really had time. Let me tell you a little bit about this. Um, last year, I was constantly on the road. I was tired. I was aggravated, frustrated. Um, I didn't get a chance to be with my kids as much as I wanted to. I was in and out and in and out of town. Um, that was just with my work. Um, and then I picked up an extra gig where I was doing some acting on the side. Um, and that took me out of state. That was something that was a lot more fun than just doing the work. Um, doing different types of work. Like, you know, clocking in, clocking out type of thing. But in acting, it's totally different. You get a chance to step outside of yourself. So that part of my life, I absolutely loved. But with that being said, the work portion of my life just really, really had me strained and frustrated. And I didn't really have much time to hang out with my kids. And so I was just praying really, really hard. God, please help me to get my schedule together. Please help me to be able to spend more time with my kids. I'm a divorced mom of three beautiful kids. And with that being said, they needed more time with me. They needed um, more, you know, as far as I'm here every single day with them. So that means from picking them up, for, well, taking them to school in the mornings to dropping them off, which was pre-COVID. We already know that. Um, I was doing that every single day, as many parents already do. But as a single parent, it's a lot more taxing because you don't have that consistent um, juggling between the spouses where you may be able to pass off that responsibility one or two days per week. Not asking that somebody takes it all the time because I, I love it. However, I just didn't have that option. That's my caveat. And so with that being said, I was tired. Um, day in, day out, would be on the road all day, um, trying to hurry up and get back in town, be stuck in traffic for like one and a half, two hours. And that's at the shortest amount of time that was going in and of course coming out. So a maximum of four hours worth of traffic per day. Travel time was just strenuous. And so what I wanted to do, I wanted to, uh, I was trying to find innovative ways for me to come into the new year and say, hey, Lord, I really need your help to help me to get my kids to their goals. My son and my daughter, my two oldest children, they were having frustrations at school and I did not like some of the things that I was hearing. I was just like, you know what? This is something that I just want to move past. I don't want them to be frustrated in an environment that is not really, I don't know, how do you say it? Uh, not really um, supporting of who they are. And sometimes I feel like um, adults can pick on kids. And I, I, I'm not sure if you all have ever dealt with that before. You are You go to a school and your kids are just like, hey, mom, you know, I might have raised my hand and... 
Um, this question wasn't answered and I literally raised my hand. I wasn't blurting out. I didn't do anything that I wasn't supposed to do, but I was ignored. Or my oldest daughter, what she had gone through was she really did not understand one of the concepts. She's in the IB program. And so she was asking in earnest, hey, how do you do this to the teacher? Raise your hand, ask the question. The teacher was like, well, you should already know that. Uh, what? And so with that being said, my daughter, she's really, really, really the type of person that's going to push for her goals. But I hated hearing things like that. So just a little um, aggravations of how my children were being treated in certain scenarios like that. What parent wants to hear that their child is absolutely frustrated at school because who is set there to teach them is not really doing their job? I didn't like that. So with that being said, that was my prayer in earnest. And that was just one of the multiple situations that happened. I was seeing different types of fights. I remember towards the end of, um, I, I guess it was like the, the, it was the end of the first semester. My oldest daughter being in high school, um, somebody came to the school. They were not students of the school, but they had connections to some of the students in school. She was waiting in the carpool lane and guess what? one of your worst nightmares and i i really really am just like i i can't be in a situation where we have a, a columbine type of situation but it, it was almost like that almost okay so with that being said i was like a few miles away from the school headed to get my daughter and guess what a van full of guys with uh pistols were just like pointing them out the window in the carpool lane, like they zoomed up, zoomed around, navigated through some of the cars, got up in the front of the school and started waving the guns at the school. So while the other kids are outside, this is what you choose to do. And that's a parent's worst nightmare. Not only did they do that once, they got out of the line, circled back around did it the second time and then they went through the other part of the school because the school is a huge type of complex in between two schools and so with that with that being said they went around came back around for that last time and they did it for the last time well by this time word had gotten to the principal and he actually called the police got the kids on the inside of the building but uh, I hate to hear stuff like that. I don't want my kids being in an environment where it's uh, it's unsafe. You send your kids to school for them to learn, for them to have not teachers that's got to kiss their behinds, but teachers that really, really, I feel, are there to teach and they understand the different uh, dynamics of the various type of learners. And so with that being said, um, I was in prayer really 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 hard about where and what and how to get things done and i believe the lord heard my prayers as i believe he he absolutely heard other people's prayers as well like hey i'm tired i would hear a lot of people say hey i was just tired so being able to come home was good for me um i've seen a lot of people start businesses and that's what i love to see i love to see upward mobility that's really important to me and um one of the things that i've been doing i've gotten a chance to reconnect with my children uh, to just kind of see hey what do you want to do you know that brings me the greatest joy why I really chose a non-traditional work life being a single mom is because guess what? They need me. Um, their dad lives out of town, so he's not able to get here as often maybe as he would like to. However, whatever, I'm here for them every single day and I want to make sure that I hear their goals. I hear what they want to do. What, what do they desire out of this life? And for me as a mom, I honestly feel like your kids are going to follow after the footsteps that you exemplify. Like if they don't see you going anywhere, you're constantly making excuses about your life and you're just like, hey, 
well, society didn't give it to me. No, baby. There were many people who went beyond the break of even if it um it even if it ruffled some feathers, you've got to get out here and push against the grain sometimes to make things happen for your life. And that's where I am. And so my oldest daughter, she helped me with the schedule because I honestly wanted to get back on top of that. There are some things that I want to do. And I also put myself back in school on my birthday. So May 6, 2020, I started school again. And um, after I almost completed the last time I was in school and I was doing like a, a, um, a course that I should have finished back then, but I just let excuses get in the way. So I don't want that to happen this year. Actually... I have um, gone through all of the chapters that I should since May 6, 2020, and it is now July 1st, 2020. So that means that 35 chapters worth of work I've done um, at home. I love being able to be in online school. This is going to give so many people the opportunity to uh, catch up on education, like Oh my God. So with that being said, I, um, that, that's one of the main things that I've done is go back to school. So right now I'm just studying for my final, which I'll tell you all a little bit more about in the coming weeks, um, after I have finished and, um, just so you all can get there as well. I want you all to stay motivated and as you embark upon new endeavors. I'm trying to find uh, what she wrote for me last night. She was just trying to, you know, help me to organize my schedule because, okay, how many people out there are really, really good at getting other people's lives together and then you look at your life and you're like, I suck because I just can't get it together. This is just not working out for me. Yeah, so that's me. I, um, I need the help as far as getting these ideas on the inside of my head out because I have so many different avenues. Like um, I have an at-home call center, so I have the opportunity to bring in other uh, contractors if you want to be on a 1099, get your own learning done, uh, pay for your training, of course, which is not a huge fee. Um, most of those prices are less than $200 for course, they last maybe up to six weeks at the longest, and you're out making money at a Fortune 500 company, not any MLM, not some uh, crazy loom type of thing. These are real jobs that you can work from home, and you'll be an independent contractor, 1099 work. Who wouldn't want to learn a different skill? So I've got that in the background where I can help people get started and um, I also have um, just like some notes on how to get started with uh, writing your first book now I have gotten to the end part of everything in terms of my book editing stages I sent it over to one of my really good friends she is a doctor um, not as an MD but as an education so um, I know her critique is going to be very essential and vital for me to move forward. Um, and I just wanted to, um, I also want to work on course creation and showing how, um, showing other people how to create courses, uh, the different websites that you want to use for course creation, because there are so many things that I've learned over the years. And why not share that information with everybody? All right, so I cannot find where she wrote these jewels. My gosh, where did she put this stuff in here? Might not be for me to say it on this video, but um, maybe I'll be back and I can talk about our schedule that she has put together for me. I think I may just start on next week to uh, just get everything together like she wants me to. I know she's real adamant about, hey mom, come on now. You helping everybody else and you haven't helped yourself. That's mommy's problem. 
And I, I believe that's the attribute of many moms. We can do so well at helping our kids. Um, if you're married, you're a spouse, um, you, you are great at work. And then what do you have to give of yourself when you get home? And I have this cute little book that I got. Um, here we go. Okay. Yeah, this cute little book that I got from um, Five Below, which I love that place a whole lot. And I mean, because everything is real, real, real affordable. You can go in there and find practically anything. I believe it's also like a fun center for my kids as well. But give me just one more moment. If I can't find it within this next few seconds, we'll just um, talk about this schedule within the next few days. I thought I did see it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I cannot find it. But anywho, it doesn't matter. I will be back with that schedule because it doesn't look like I'm going to find it on this segment of this video. Maybe I can put it on pause and there we go. You just don't give up. Okay, so she wrote this whole schedule out for me. Um... <clears throat> so I wanted to come up with virtual ways to help people to make money. Years and years ago, I was helping people with um, being a mystery shopper. That was the craziest industry ever for me to get involved in. Um, that was whoa, way before I think I even became a mom. I was talking about mystery shopping, something so much fun and um it's almost like a secret agent, <laughs> but you were able to go into different stores and just like find, um, you know, go through the different th the, off your checklist and everything. Long story short, but I want to help people to find virtual ways to work from home. So I've been doing this a very long time. My oldest daughter is 15. So this was pre Bryce. Okay. Um, and then, so with that being said, I wanted to start a blog and so this is the schedule all right so mondays are motivational mondays motivational only i'm not coming back to do any kind of crazy thing because i don't want to overexert. i feel like when we um over promise then we under um under produce so i don't want to over promise anything but we're looking at motivational mondays Trading Tuesday. So I'm a day trader um, in the Forex market and I feel like it's so rewarding. Um, I do plan on giving out signals, uh, some of the things that I find. I um, have learned a lot within this past year of trading and I want to share some of those ideas with people. Um, on Wednesdays, we're going to do Wealthy Wednesdays. So that's all kind of different wealth principles and things like that. I've been around so many different types of people, millionaires and even one billionaire. Got a chance to do that. That was the most amazing thing I've ever done before in my life. Just to kind of see how their life differs, differs from ours and some of the principles that we could pick up from who they are. Um, and then so Thursdays are going to be Think Tank Thursdays. And the reason why I want to do like a think tank, um, so many times we have so many great ideas, but just like myself, just learning how to pull these ideas from my mind and putting them out, not just on paper, because that's where a lot of people stop. They stop at the putting it on paper or typing it up. And what else are you going to do with it? Did you submit it to somewhere? Did you get a patent for it? Did you talk to somebody who can actually get the steps walking for you? So the think think the think tank Thursdays and Fridays. All right, everybody. This is the last day that I'm going to um, be recording on any given week. It's going to be Freedom Fridays, right? So Freedom Fridays, we're going to leave that open and just talk about whatever the heck we want to, whether it's uh, local happenings, 
uh, statewide, national, worldwide, but I don't want this to become a negative uh, space on this channel. You know, yes, we go through so many different things. I've actually done a video about it before. I want just equality for people. And I love everybody. I live by the principles of Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. And I'll proclaim him forever. Okay? Forever, ever. Ever, ever. Yes. So with that being said, I love you all. I thank you so much. And I hope you all have a great day. If you like this type of stuff, I know I just rambled today, but this is kind of like what it's going to be. So if you like this type of thing, let's go ahead and please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I mean comment. Hello, it's free. All right, everybody. Bye.